Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube series on spin tires. We're doing the volcano map. Um, we had a bit of a mishap in one of the previous uh, episodes where we turned a truck onto its side, one of the D537s. Um, in the last episode we managed to rescue that truck and get it to its objective and we've brought the second D537 up to the river but we're going to abandon this here for, the, for a while. So that's up, uh, where is it, up here. So it's currently there. There's the objective. It would take five minutes to get it there. What we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to pick up this 7310. And I'm going to bring it across. And I'm going to try and rescue that. The, the 255. Um, purely because I think we should. We'll have a look how much fuel we've got when we get there. Um, we want the that one there. That's what we're going to do. So, Thunderbirds International Rescue, we're off. Da da da. We're a go. Don't even know I can get this thing back out from here. To be honest, we shall try. See where we get. It should go up the hill. We are Thunderbirds Argo! We've got a rescue, we can't leave a, leave a man down. I think we have in previous episodes, but not on this one. Not on the volcano. We're going to get the Scud truck. Scud recovery, as we call it. it looks like a scud launcher truck. And I'm going to get it over. I'm going to refuel it at the, uh, the utility truck. And if we haven't got enough fuel, we'll have to bring the other one up. Which I'm not sure that's got much in it, to be honest. Look at that. Power. There we go. Straight out. No messing about with this thing. going through this section here. Nope. Nope. We're going to have to drop down again. Wrong way. Wrong way. That way. That's it. Good gear stick. So guys, how are you liking this the series so far? This is almost the end. We probably could finish this quite easily on this video, on episode 5. I'm hoping you've liked all the series. Because um, obviously I've only got the maps that I've got to complete, and then that's going to be it really for spin tires um, until they bring out a new map, or I do mods. Um, and unless I'm not really going to go looking for mods, so unless anybody sort of says this is a good mod, um, it's kind of the end. But however, I may, and I'm not guaranteeing this, I may try and get some multiplayer stuff and show you that show you how much easier it is. Um, don't know. I've got to have some people I can trust for a YouTube series and that and I, I've got a couple in mind um, that should be okay but ideally you need four. And what normally happens in multiplayer is I go off by myself and still do it all. Uh, is this the turn in here? Oh, it's down there. There it is. That's all going over there. Um, yeah, I normally go off and do a lot by myself, and then I have to go and rescue a certain person. You know who you are. <laughs> but he is getting better. Bless him. Um, but yeah, we shall see. 
we shall see. But we're, we've got to, as I say, this this will probably be the last one on the Volcano series. Uh, or episodes. And then we'll, uh, we've got the river to do. And I am not looking forward to that. I'll record that in about a week's time. But uh, it's not my favourite map, guys, the, the river. I don't think it's anybody's favourite map. Especially when you're playing hardcore on single player. Nearly at the utility truck, which is good. This is just ludicrously deep, but these big trucks can handle it. This has actually got really good hit points on this, like 800 um, damage points. And I can repair a load of it myself, which is good. So we're going to refuel it, because it will just be easier to do it here. Uh, so we're gonna go we're gonna repair it with that one so that's pretty much done in no repairs out of that now need to change back so it didn't repair it fully not worried about that not worried at all because we just want to get him to the C255 um, because this has got, as I say, about 800 damage repair utility points anyway. So we can always, if it gets that damaged, use itself to repair it. Let's go. I'm trying to get you some nice camera. Look at that. Look at that coming up there. Just the awesome power these things have got. The engines must be humongously big. At least, at least 900 cc, I would say. Maybe even a one litre. Possibly a one litre engine, because this has like got eight wheels. That'd be like 250 cc each wheel. No, actually, no. Each set of wheels. So that'd be like 125. Yeah. Wow. 125 of a cylinder. 125 cc per wheel. If it's a thousand cc. Yeah. But again, now we are going to rescue that. We've got to. International rescue, here we come. As I say, we can't leave a man down. So we're going to rescue him. And then we're going to take our truck, assuming nothing goes wrong, to the objective and uh, and win. Win another map, hopefully, if all goes well. Turn our lights off, don't need those anymore. There's our logging truck that we've left parked up here. What it is, get across the river, re recover the uh, the what's his name truck, repair it. We'll leave them parked up on the side, then up here. Here we go through the river, the river of death. No, it's not the river of death, we don't want to call it the river of death. That's a bad name because something could go wrong then. Poor trucks. It's, it's probably rusted now. It's good. It, it would be alright if it's been done with hammerite. So, pull up 
up here. It will reach just. Just need to get the right angle on it. There we go. This finger pull him out. Park him up here on the right. So we're going to use that. Yeah, that's 600. <laughs> Let's stop the engine and we're going to bring up our, uh, what's his name, logging truck now. So we can get rid of all of that. And it's the second one, I think. That's the first one. I lied. So we've just got to get this to the end now. It should be fairly simple. If all goes well. Deep. Oh, I've run out of fuel. No, just kidding. Just messing with you guys. I wouldn't do that. We do good. We'll get it to the end. We've rescued our truck. We couldn't leave a man down. International rescue. No, it took a few minutes, but uh, we had to go and rescue him. I don't think we've missed anything. There's international rescue up here, that big tow truck. on to the end. We need to change down here, don't we? I don't think we can make this in that high gear. No, I didn't think we could. Hold the brake. Hold it on the brake. tight. Shunt it around the corner. Wow. But wanted gear. I thought I was in gear then and I wasn't. Doing good now, making very good progress. Oh no, disaster! We've cracked. No, we're just kidding. Swing around here. We're pretty much there now. Pretty much there. Of course, not going to be able to do the last bit in high gear, is it won't let us. Come on. Game never gives up trying to wind you up. Not wind you up. Make it harder. Challenge you. So I would say that this has been a good success. Oh, we've left that part in reverse. Look, never mind. It'll be okay. We'll bring this one in.
Where's my mouse cursor? There it is. There you go! One hour, thirty-one minutes. It's got to be a record for me. Uh, 3,125 litres, seven trucks unlocked, two garages unlocked, all cloaking areas removed, and 18.90 kilometres travelled. I think we should park up around here. I'm not going to drive off the end. I know everybody does it on multiplayer. But I'm, I'm just not. I want to park the truck there. And then go like that and stop the engine so I can talk to you guys. So that's a. Oh, I had a perfect screen here then. There we go. Oop. I'll we'll get rid of that. Right, guys. That's the end of the uh, Volcano series. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have enjoyed making it today. Um, five episodes. And we've managed to complete both objectives. Um, if you have liked the series or this video, hit the like button. Feel free to comment down below. Um, I will try and answer all of them if I can. Um, the next series is going to be based on the river. The one I don't like. The one I find hardest of all. Um, so stay tuned for that one. It will be out very soon. Um, but yeah, comment below. Um... Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, if you've not subscribed already. Um, because I do try and bring out videos um, every few days if I can. Um, now, that's dependent on whether I'm going back to work soon or not. When I go back to work, there will be obviously be one a week, I suspect. Um, but still keep tuned for the videos. Um, that's why I'm trying to hammer in as many as I can at the moment. Um, but also, share the videos out. Get some more viewers and some more subscribers to my channel to help support me do all of this, guys. Make, it, make me feel like it's worthwhile. So far, I'm thinking it's great. We've got 400 subscribers, um, and it's going really good. Uh, if you want to come and chat live while I do a live stream, um, you need to follow me on Twitter. Not Twitter, Twitch. Come and follow me on Twitch TV. Um, well, Twitch, as it's known, not Twitch TV. Everybody calls it Twitch TV, but it's actually Twitch. But come and follow me on Twitch. Um, I'll be having a chat. We play lots of different games. A lot of Space Engineers at the moment. Euro Truck. Bit of this. A um, bit of Gauntlet. Um, a fair bit of Train Fever, which is another YouTube series I'm starting up now. Um, so, yeah, come and follow me on there. And follow me, as I say, on Twitter as well. That's an important one, guys, because everything goes on Twitter, on my Twitter account. I retweet stuff from developers and from uh, IT manufacturers like Intel and NVIDIA and all that sort of stuff. Um, if I think it's interesting to you guys. But more importantly, I'll, I'll shout out on there when my next videos are live. I'll also shout out when I go live on Twitch and when there's screenshots posted to Facebook which is another place you can follow me. So definitely follow me on Twitter, guys. It's like my central hub. And I've only I've not got nowhere near enough people following me on there. But I do enjoy doing it. Um, so, guys, until the next series, thanks for watching. And goodbye for now.